over half of Google searches are in languages other than English. So if your website is only optimized in one language, you are leaving massive traffic on the table. But translating content for SEO isn't just about swapping words, it's about strategic localization. Hi everyone, it's Carmen again, and in this video we're going to talk about how to translate key SEO elements on your website so you can rank in multiple languages and do it the right way. We'll walk through the best tools you can use so you can translate your slugs, metadata, and generate a multilingual sitemap that Google loves. Let's dive in! The plugin that we are going to use for this tutorial is TranslatePress. It is the easiest solution for multilingual SEO on WordPress sites, offering both automatic and manual translations. So let me show you how to use it to your advantage. If you're short on time, TranslatePress offers automatic translations using AI, so you can have your multilingual SEO set up in just a few minutes. But first, I want to show you the manual way, so you can understand what happens behind the scenes and see why each element is so important. Don't worry, I'll show you the automatic method too. So stick around to see how to speed it all up at the end of the video. First, make sure you have the TranslatePress plugin installed and activated and the SEO pack add-on enabled. Mind you, the SEO pack is a premium add-on, so you will need a TranslatePress license to use it. Enabling the SEO add-on is crucial, as it unlocks the ability to translate meta titles, descriptions, slugs, and more, which are key for multilingual SEO. With TranslatePress and the SEO add-on ready to go, let's start optimizing our site, beginning with the URL slugs. Slugs are part of your URL that describes the content of the page to both the viewer and to Google. So yes, they absolutely matter for SEO. To translate a slug, all you have to do is click on translate page in the admin bar. That will open the visual translation editor. Here, you can directly select the page slug from the string list and add the appropriate translation. You can do this on every website page or post. On the other hand, if you want to have a better overview of all your website slugs, so you can translate each and every one of them from the same place, switch to the string translation interface. Let's start with the term slugs. For example, if you're selling furniture and have a category called armchairs, you'll want to translate that to something like sillones in Spanish. Now for the post slugs, like the dedicated page for this product. Make sure it's translated in the slug too, not just the page title. Keeping this optimized helps your pages show up in local searches and also expands your target audience. Slugs are often overlooked, but they do make a difference in how local users and search engines understand your content. Next, let's take care of your metadata. TranslatePress is compatible with the most popular SEO plugins available, like Yoast, RankMath, SEOPress, and All-in-One SEO. For today, I'll illustrate working with Yoast, but you will be able to do the same no matter what plugin you are using. Now, of course, in order to translate SEO elements, you'll first need to have them set on your site in your original language. So let's go to a page or post and scroll down to the Yoast SEO panel. Here's where you'll edit the SEO title and meta description for your default language. These elements help search engines understand what your content is about and they're what users see in the search results, so make sure they are clear and compelling. Now, with the TranslatePress SEO pack, we can translate that metadata for each language. Click the Translate Page button at the top, then use the visual editor to select your SEO title and description. Enter localized versions that include keywords in the target language. In this case, we are optimizing for Spanish users. Once you input the desired translations, make sure to click the Save button. Don't forget to use relevant keywords in your targeted language too, depending on your own localized keyword research. Word by word translation might not always be the best idea, at least from an SEO perspective. Translated metadata helps you show up in local searches and improves click-through rates, especially if you tailor it to cultural preferences. However, one part of SEO that many people tend to forget about is image alt text, but it's actually really important to both search engines and accessibility. Alt text helps describe what an image is about. It gives search engines more context 
and it's read aloud by screen readers for visually impaired users. So if your alt text is still in English on the Spanish version of your site, you're missing an opportunity. With Translate Press, translating image alt text is just as simple. Open the visual editor, hover over the image and click the pencil icon. Then, under the image source, you'll see the alt text field. Just enter the appropriate translation there. Click save and you're done. Before ending, let's talk about sitemaps. Yoast automatically creates a sitemap for your website, but when working with multiple languages, we want to make sure that each version of a page is included. TranslatePress handles this automatically by integrating with your SEO plugin. In my case, Yoast SEO created my initial sitemap and then TranslatePress added the translation versions of my pages in there as well. This way, each translated page is indexed too. You can see here that each and every page in the Spanish version of the website has the ES subdirectory and the previously translated slug. This will help Google understand the relation between the pages so it knows that those are translated versions of existing pages and not just independent pages. Now, as promised, if you do not have time for the whole manual process I just showed you, let me introduce you to TranslatePress AI. Once you set up your site and added SEO elements like slugs, meta titles, and descriptions in your default language, TranslatePress AI can automatically generate translations for your targeted languages. Then you can simply review the translations and make tweaks if you feel they are needed. To activate TranslatePress AI, just go to the Translate Press settings, navigate to the Automatic Translations tab and choose Translate Press AI as your translation engine. Depending on your plan, you have a certain number of words available for automatic translation. That includes SEO metadata, alt text and slugs too. So as long as they're filled out in your main language, Translate Press AI will handle the rest. And that's it. Translating SEO elements isn't just the best practice. It's essential if you want to reach a global audience and maximize your traffic potential. So whether you want full control with manual translations or you like the speed of TranslatePress AI, you now know everything you need to rank in multiple languages. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for even more multilingual SEO tips. Until next time, keep optimizing and keep growing.